Hi, let's make an Islamic star origami frame. First, gather all your materials. We're going to make our own origami paper. Bend one corner down like this and make sure it's aligned to the edge of the paper. Now, press down and make a strong crease. Some people like cutting away the extra paper at the bottom on this step, but I like making one more crease so that I can see where to cut. Cut across the fold carefully as we want to create an equal square sheet of paper. There you have it, your own origami paper. Next, we will decorate our origami paper with art inspired by the Islamic art tradition of geometric patterns. Bing squares create the Islamic star. Find a square shape to trace. The easiest way to trace a square is by tracing one side at a time. Otherwise, you might get some curves instead of corners. It's easy to draw in the corners once you're done tracing. Now, turn the square so it's a diamond. Place it on top of the square on your paper and trace your diamond over your square. You've just drawn two overlapping squares and created the Islamic star. The eight point star is an ancient symbol that was adopted by early Muslims and spread throughout the Islamic world. It's so amazing how overlapping squares can create new shapes. How many triangles can you find in this star? Let's find them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight triangles. Let's try overlapping a new shape, a circle. I'm using a bottle cap to trace my circles. I can use overlapping circles to create a twinkling star. Step one, trace a circle. Step two, find your top point, your middle points, and your bottom points of the circle. Step three, watch closely. I'm using my bottle cap to connect the dots. The curves are creating a star inside my circle. I'm not overlapping a complete circle over a complete circle because I want to keep my design simple today. But if I did, it would look like this. I'm keeping my pattern simple today because I'm so inspired by Islamic art in Japan. The Tokyo Kami looks beautiful against Tokyo skyline. The design of the moss in Tokyo are simple and minimal. So for this origami craft, I wanted to keep my design simple and minimal too. I'm filling this side of the origami paper with my square stars and my circle stars until it's full. Finally, let's fold our origami paper into a star-shaped frame. Fold the paper into a triangle. Make sure to press down to create a strong crease. Fold in the other direction and press down to make another strong crease. Finally, fold the paper in half both ways. Oops, I almost forgot the other side.
Now turn in the corners all the way around so they touch in the middle and they're evenly lined up. If it's not looking even, you can always open it back up and take a look. Make sure you've made really strong folds along all the edges. Next, fold each corner halfway up and press to create a strong crease. We're gonna do this to every corner, so make sure you press down hard and make a strong crease. Okay, this next part is easy. We're just going to fold everything back up. Now flip it over and fold up the corners again. We're going to fold up every corner all the way around and make sure to press down, create a nice fold and line up the edges so everything fits together. Now take your finger and count two third of the way down. That's where you're going to make your fold. Make sure that you press hard and create a good fold. I love how the design is popping out here. It looks so cool. It's time for the grand reveal. I love the way the geometric print looks in the geometric origami frame. Tape in a paper clip if you want a stand for your frame. Now that you know how to make stars from circles and squares, you can try to make them freehand. The result is a beautiful, fun, wonky pattern. Sometimes it's fun to have a little bit more freedom and not worry about having perfect straight lines or perfect circles. And we're done. And I have a second photo frame with a completely different look. I love them both. That goes for these two as well. Ramadan Mubarak!